Hello friends, this video on biotechnology principles part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So before we go ahead with any further example, let us quickly look at the basic principles of biotechnology. Now, what are the basic uh, backbone based on which we say that yes, modern biotechnology is something which is feasible, possible and is going to be helpful. So on the screen, you can see the picture of the jellyfishes. Now, why do we have that picture? So there is a reason behind it because they are going to be one of the classic examples which we will be using every now and then whenever we talk about the mix and match between different organisms. Okay. So the first principle of biotechnology is genetic engineering. Now, what is genetic engineering? In simple terms, it, it is nothing but engineering with the genes. So as I was telling just now, that mix and match of genetic material. So you play around with the genes. You take out gene, certain genes from one animal and you put them inside some another animal to get some desired feature in a particular animal. So that is called genetic engineering because you are playing around with genes. Now let us take this example. Now these jellyfishes which are commonly seen in oceans, now they have a feature that they glow at night. Now why do they glow at night? So this glow which is seen in a jellyfish is because of a gene which is present inside their body. So that, that particular gene is responsible for the glowing of a jellyfish at night. Now let us suppose if I want some other organism also to glow at night. Let us say I want a frog to glow at night or I want a mouse to glow at night. So what do I do? A frog or a mouse doesn't have a gene which can make them glow at night. So I need to put that gene inside the body of a frog or a mouse. Now the question is how is it possible that I extract that gene from a jellyfish and put it inside the cell of a mouse or I put it inside the cell of a frog. So once that gene is inside the cell of a mouse or a frog then of course that animal will also start behaving in the same way because after all it is the gene which decides which proteins will get synthesized and the proteins directly decide the behavior of the organism. Now, if you think of this process, it is very like unimaginative. Sometimes you feel that no, this is not possible, but actually this is possible. This has actually been done and it has seen that yes, there were mice which could actually glow the way jellyfish used to glow at night. Now, the process of course is complex, but that is what we are going to study in detail under genetic engineering. But it is not impossible. So it is very much possible and this is done. And that is why the entire concept of genetic engineering came into picture. So it is not only here I have taken the example of a mouse or a frog. Not only these animals, the same, this kind of genetic engineering or this kind of mix and match is even done between plants and animals. You take out some gene from a plant and you put it inside an animal in order to get that particular feature in that animal. So what happens? What is the result of genetic engineering? It brings about a change in the phenotype of organisms. Now by now I'm sure all of you know what is a phenotype and what is a genotype. So for example, remember Mendelian genetics. So for quick recap. So when you talk of a tall plant, so the tall is a phenotype. But when you, when I say the genotype, it is going to be capital T, capital T. So that, that was your phenotype and genotype. Now, whenever we create or whenever we try to do genetic engineering, the motto is to bring about a change in the phenotype. That is to bring about a change in the look of that organism or in the display of that organism. So here in this case, when the frog starts to glow or the mouse starts to glow, that means there is a change in the phenotype, something which is observable, something which we are able to see. So these kind of changes are result of genetic engineering. So this is one principle of biotechnology where we talk about mixing and matching of genes between different living organisms. The next thing is chemical engineering. What is chemical engineering? Okay. So here the most important thing is maintenance of sterile environment. What is sterile? Sterile means something completely clean, something which is free of any sort of contamination. So that is a sterile environment. 
Now, when we talk about in, a, in biotechnology, we talk about creation or uh, production of useful products. Now, one of the useful products are antibiotics, enzymes, um, useful acids. So these are all products which are beneficial to human beings. Now, for the preparation of all of these, many microbes play a very important role. But it, it needs to be ensured that only the useful ones are allowed to grow and not the harmful ones. So for that purpose, for the for entire for this entire process to take place, that is for the production of these products, it is important to maintain a microbe-free, clean environment, and that is what we call sterile environment. So only when we are able to provide a sterile environment, the process of chemical engineering will be able to take place. Now, what is chemical engineering? Now, even after you have, let us say, genetic engineering is about mixing of the genes. But even after you do that, in order to produce that product, a lot of chemical processes will take place. Right? Now, you need to provide a sterile environment for all the chemical reactions to take place peacefully so that you are able to get the desired product. So, maintenance of sterile environment is the next important principle of biotechnology. So that you can ensure that only desired microbes are grown and not the unwanted ones. So these are the two important principles of biotechnology. First is genetic engineering where we mix and match genes. Second is maintenance of sterile environment where we ensure that an environment which is clean and microbe, I mean, microbe free is maintained. So that chemical engineering can take place in an appropriate way. So these are the principles of biotechnology. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.